the lines and losses there All the smiling faces Got it along the Scots were good To see the bleeding races Hi everyone, I'm FM Greeno and welcome along to episode 18 of my FM21 save with Newcastle United. So you join me today for a crucial game. It is our final group stage game in the Champions League. We are up against Bayer Leverkusen and the result of today's game will determine whether we make it through to the next stage of the Champions League, end up in the Europa League or potentially end up out of European competition altogether. So if we take a little look at the group table here, you can see Bayer Leverkusen are top. They've won all five of their games, which is some achievement given the teams in our group. We sit in second place with six points. Monaco also on six points. And Inter Milan down on three points. So as you can tell, it's not been going great for us in the Champions League. Certainly the beginning part of it didn't. You saw us with our 1-0 defeat against Monaco. The next game, we got absolutely tumped over in Leverkusen, 4-1. And then we got beat by Inter Milan as well, 2-1. So after three games, we were utterly pointless. Fortunately, we've managed to win against Inter Milan at home. And we've beaten Monaco away. So that gives us a good chance going into this game. League form has been better. We did lose uh, one game, I think. No, we haven't lost any game since you were with me last. We drew against West Brom, that's right. Everything else has been wins and plenty of goals. So anyway, let's get through to the tactics screen and you can see how we're set up for today's crucial game. So we're trying just one little different thing today. We've moved Twanzebe up from centre-half into this defensive midfield role. We're going to play him as an anchor man. I just want someone who's going to sit in front of these back two here. Obviously, we're asking the wing-backs to bomb on a little bit. So someone who can get in and kind of break things up, do that kind of water carrier role, I think might be quite effective in today's game. Otherwise, it's pretty much the team you'd expect. One thing I have noticed. Our defence doesn't look very good when you look at the star ratings, does it? One player with three stars and the rest with two and a half. But there's no reflection on them at all. San Maximan is skewing these averages. He has become a world-class player. He's on four and a half stars here. Onana on four stars. Everyone else, Soboslow, even Kamavinga is only back on three and a half stars now. So San Maximan is just blowing everyone out of the water. Not a bad thing. Let's get into the game. Things have been going very well for us in the Premier League, by the way. We're currently sat top. Uh, we're only a point clear. No, four points clear with a game in hand we are now. because we, we won one extra game. So, yeah, so that's going really well. Hopefully the Champions League can uh, do as well. Twan Zebe, has he scored? That's not offside or anything, is it? Oh, super job. So in the 12th minute, great ball in from Sobosloy over the top of the defenders there. Twan Zebe with a very nice finish. For a guy who's basically a centre-half. Very controlled right foot volley. And we'll take that. 1-0. But a kick-off highlight. That's never good news. Leverkusen knocking it about quite nicely. But San Maximan pinches the ball. Kamavinga to Sobosloy. Unfortunately, his ball through. Can't find anybody. But we're back in possession again. And here's San Maximan. This is where he's dangerous. This is where he's dangerous. He's unstoppable at the moment. Wow, what a great goal. Who needs Messi when you've got San Maximan? Look at this. The poor young fullback doesn't know whether he's coming or going. Spots the gap at the near post. And that's 2 0 in very quick succession. This is going very well. Sobosloy again here. Timo Horn comes and claims it this time. Long clearance. Lewis gets on the ball, though. That's good. Kamavinga here. What can he do? Bursting into the box. Oh, I thought Wilson was going to get there then. But Timo Horn came out and collected the ball. Once again, we break up the counter attack. Back to Onana. Who clears up towards Wilson. Good pass through to San Maximan. Here's Twanzebe. Neres. What's he going to do? Gets around the outside. And it's in, and is that San Maximan again? It is. His second of the game. 15 minutes on the clock. This is going better than I expected. Oh, hang on, they're checking the goal. Oh, it's disallowed. Who's off? How can you be offside there? Oh, that's harsh. I mean, strictly speaking, Wilson was in an offside position, but 
from a two yard tap in. That's ridiculous. Anyway, 20th minute, we're 2 0 up. Here's San Maximan again. Oh, he's at the bar. Wilson mops up the loose ball. Can he get a ball in? Neres here. Good, strong challenge, and the highlight comes to an end. Jamal Lewis here with a free kick. He's been the subject of a lot of interest recently. We turned down a couple of bids in the summer for him, and Liverpool are sniffing around at the moment. Good ball through from him to Wilson. Oh, goodness. Almost another good finish there. And we are bossing this game. They're pressing Leverkusen into the corner there. They have to go long and we win the ball. And here comes Sobosloy, Callum Wilson. Kamavinga is in. A terrible bit of defending. Woeful back pass of all things. And Kamavinga, in his box to box roll, gets in ahead of the goalkeeper and finishes. It's one of those young fullbacks taking advantage of his inexperience there. 3-0 this time. That's not disallowed for any reason. Looks like Leverkusen might have an attack of their own here. Bellarabi here on the ball. Lewis with a great strong challenge though. And here goes San Maximan. He's not going to do it all on his own again, is he? No. Cleared. But we win the ball once again. Here's Sobosloy. Here's San Maximan. Is he going to square it? He is. Oh, Wilson. Should have scored. Highlight seems to be continuing, though. Is this going to be a chance for Leverkusen to build something? No. Another poor pass. Here's Kamavinga again. Oh! Hits the post. Bounces off the keeper and behind. That could have gone anywhere. And over the top. And what an opening 30 minutes or so this has been. We are absolutely demolishing Leverkusen. San Maximan again. They just cannot handle him on this side, can they? A weak effort at the end, though. But another great run from halfway. And so approaching half time. Oh, are we going to get another highlight here? Babu Twanzebe here. He's not had an awful lot to do in that holding midfield role, has he? I think I could have probably played there today. Babu with a ball in Kamavinga. Another effort on target, but easy enough for Horn. The highlight continues though. Neres here looking out left to Lewis. That's a great ball. And there's San Maximan and Horn again. He's having a very good game in goal for Leverkusen, even though they're 3 0 down. Another corner. Are we going to see this one? We are. Can we make anything of it? No, this one is cleared. But going into half time, we have to be happy with that first half performance. 3 0 up, and it could have been a lot more, couldn't it? So let's get into the dressing room. We are outstretched arms. We're very pleased. Nothing more to say. Let's just get them out for the second half. Okay, so they've made a couple of changes to try and. Uh, a little bit more experience into their team by the looks of it so we're just gonna have to guard against a little bit of complacency i think looks like finally they're gonna have a highlight of their own back to the keeper can we get in and disrupt this passing doesn't look like it and finally they get through Luckily, Onana maintains his concentration after a very, very quiet game for him so far and makes a good save. Corner comes over and another good save. Yet another corner to be swung in with the left foot and we clear this one up towards San Maximan. Is he going to do anything with this himself? No, he loses the ball. But he's won it back, and here comes Callum Wilson. He's through on goal, and another save by Horn. Goodness me. This could have been six or seven without that guy in goal, couldn't it? The highlights keep coming. Lewis in again with a good header. Kamavinga can't quite win that one, though. 
And Leverkusen seem to be enjoying a little bit more possession than they were in the first half. Looks like they've got an attack building here. Once again, we need to try and get in and disrupt this. Car with a ball. Kigo gets in to intercept, though. Here comes Mbabu. Good ball. There's Wilson. Can he finish this time? He can. And that's 4 0. That's his 18th goal of the season. The guy is on fire. He's just uh, earned himself a, a call up to the England squad for the World Cup. So obviously this is uh, 2022. The World Cup is taking place in November time. So he's just, uh, with the goal scoring form he's been in, I think in nine Premier League games, he's scored 15 goals so far. And uh, yeah, it'd be a brave international manager to ignore that kind of form. Of course, with the World Cup, that means we do have a break coming up. Uh, it's about a six-week break, I think. So we'll probably have some friendlies and whatever scheduled to uh, keep the guys who are not in the World Cup fresh. Here's San Maximan. Oh, goodness. Another good effort. Right. I think we're going to make a couple of changes here. I'm suggesting San Maximan and Neres could do with going off. And I would kind of agree. Neres hasn't had a great game. He's not been terrible. I think I might leave San Maximan on, though. He's uh, he's causing havoc. Kamavinga can come out, though, and we will bring... Actually, we'll bring Fine on for him. We've got about 20 minutes left. I think we've pretty much got this sewn up already. Fine. Out to Almiron. There's Wilson again. And is that the fifth? He's onside? I think he is. And that's his 19th of the season. This setup with, uh, with the inside forwards playing little balls around. Wilson as an attacking forward on the shoulder all the time with his pace and acceleration. It's just causing havoc for defences. They cannot handle it at all. And so that's 5-0 now. 15 minutes to go. And Babu's taken a knock apparently. So he's going to be the one to come out. And we do have Yedvai on the bench. So that's a natural replacement at right back. Means San Maximan will be seeing the game out, I think. Almiron finds Wilson out to San Maximan. Can he finish? Oh, another good save by Horn. I mean, it's not very often you lose 5 0 and your keeper is your best player. And we're in the last knockings now, just the last few minutes. Oh, we can make a replacement, apparently. So. Let's take San Maximan off. We can bring Milner on. No, we can't. So why is the assistant recommending I do it then? Bloody Dennis Bergkamp. What do you know about football? Lewis to White. Twanzebe. Back to White. There's no rush here. Wilson. Into Almiron. Oh, spoons it wide. Highlight straight from that goal kick, though. Are we going to get in and disrupt them once again? Oh, I thought Wilson was going to get on the ball then. But San Maximan has come and got the ball. Not showing any real signs of being that tired as uh, as he was reported to be. Even Twanzebe is doing back heels in the middle of midfield now. Almiron, the ball is cleared. Twanzebe, though, disrupting, getting in. Here comes Almiron. Can he finish this time? No. Horn down once again. The amount of saves this guy has made today. Some maximum with the corner. It's cleared. Highlight ends. Do we have one last little highlight or is this just an end of game? Twanzebe, he's not going to shoot from there, is he? No, he's not. <laughs> I thought he might, but he didn't quite have the confidence in his uh, finishing abilities from 20 yards. Fairly understandably, I guess. So just a few seconds to go. Are they going to get a consolation? No, Onana. Down to collect the ball. And amazingly, we have won 5-0. Wow, well, that was a great win, wasn't it? And that puts us firmly in second place in the group. And we qualify for the knockout stages of the Champions League. Monaco finishing second and Inter are out of Europe. You can see I mentioned earlier, we are top of the league currently. Four points clear of Liverpool. 
who have a game in hand on us, but we have got superior goal difference, helped by that 10-0 win we had against Reading earlier in the season, of course. So I mentioned earlier that we have the World Cup coming up. So you can see we have just one more game, the Man United away game. Then we break from the 5th of November up until the 26th of December for that World Cup to take place. So we're going to have to schedule a couple of little friendly games in there at some point, get some freshness into the, into the lads. Though I guess a lot of the lower divisions will still be playing, so it might be a little bit hard to get some opposition, but we'll see how that stacks up. So I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to bring you back, but it'll be for a big game, I'm sure. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was a great win, wasn't it? And good to progress to the next stage of the Champions League. If you did enjoy it, please drop a like on there for me. Help me get seen by more people. And any comments you got about this episode or the series as a whole, I would love to see them. Of course, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. We've got this series going very well. We've just started a series as manager of Hungary. So that'll be a, a lot of fun, hopefully. And more to come from FN21 for sure. It just remains for me to thank you for watching. And we'll see you soon for some more action with Newcastle. Bye for now.